welcome, welcome to the Coffee, Coffee, Coffee Experience. Experience. Yeah, my name's Dave. <laughs> my name's Dave. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see, but um, I only have half a face tonight because Isaiah says I'm a camera hog, and so it's all good. Well, I mean, if you move anymore. It's a dog. I think it's a dog. Can you go? Can you it's go? dog. Go do with it. So anyway, we are kind of talking quietly tonight, if you've noticed. Um, this is our puppy, Olive. Hello, pup. Come here. Olive. Come here, come here, look at this puppy. Talk to the mic to say hi. Hi, Bob. Come here. Come here. I love how she's louder than us. She's literally louder than us. She's a Ridgeback, Rhodesian Ridgeback. She's beautiful. You can look it up. Anyway, we got a quiet episode. It is actually almost 1 a.m. in the morning, our time. And I'm wide awake. Which is Pacific Standard Time, which you're about to not be wide awake. Um, right after this episode. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I just, uh, we, we've got a, got a b- bunch of fun stuff to talk about tonight, but I wanted to talk, to start out with the fact that, um, how do you guys feel about a, a person? So I'm just saying when you've seen it in public, I just thought it would be a good <laughs> intro. Yeah, like, no, you just keep talking. It's all getting cut out. <laughs> what it's all getting t- cut out. What are you you might as well say it. You're a little <laughs> in the five minutes. No way. There's good intro stuff yes, there. Way. There's good intro stuff. Add some beeps in there. Have some fun with it. Like over every section that talks about nose beeping, go beep. Like that. Beep. It could be like, you know, when they edit cuss words. Yeah. I think... I th- I think it is your time of the month, bro. Just don't know why I can't move on. So anyways, today we'll be talking about the 4th of July. Do you think it's your time of the month? No, I feel fine. Do you feel, because we're still in our I don't intro- feel snippy at all. I feel fine. You sure? Yes, I'm positive. So today we're talking about the 4th of July. Wait, we weren't ready for the segue yeah, yet. we totally dude. were. Perfect time to segue. Really? Because you get all, t- your your underwear got all in a bunch there, like at our See, intro. See, no, Mama's right. You are an instigator. No. Yes, you are. You say comments like that. You don't need to say that. That's literally your head going off like, oh, and I bet you don't admit to it. You don't need to say that. Just be quiet and let's move on. Whoa, why are you so f- Special episode for you tonight. It is the morning of, technically it's the day of... The 4th of July here in the United States. Yep. It's our Independence Day. Yep, yep. And so we just wanted to share a little bit of a, like, about our holiday and uh, and also comment, email us if you guys have an Independence Day. I know not every country has an Independence Day because some countries are have independent to this day. You're still your country and <laughs> you've never been ruled by anybody else. That was funny. Um, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't think France has an Independence Day. Mm. I don't think England does. I don't think no, Germany doesn't. Sure. Germany doesn't have an independence day. I don't want to say something that sounds stupid. We have a reuni- Did you know this? Germany has a reunification day. Yeah, I think I knew about that. The day the Berlin Wall fell, and yeah. both sides, East and West Germany, were. Yep. So, but yeah, we don't have a um, independence day in Germany because we've always been independent. Yep. But that being said, going back to United States of America. And our Independence Day. So Isaiah, why don't you tell people about like what our last week has looked like surrounding the Fourth of July, and just kind of how our f- what our you know wh- what first a little bit about the holiday, what it means, and then what as far as culturally what it means as far as celebrations and so preparations. July Fourth was the day that the U.S. became independent. It was when the Declaration of Independence was signed. Um, independent from who? For as as a whole as a country, yeah. Who 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 did who did they break away from? Um, um, I'm spacing. I don't. I don't. I don't actually know. You don't know who we broke away from. Mm-mm. Oh my word! Bloody bloody hell! Bloody I hell! I don't have my world history. I'm actually yet. giving you a tip, blo- mate. Mike, giving you a tip of who we broke away from. Oh, Britain. Yeah, England, okay? man, England. England, England. So we broke away from the the, Engl- Eng- the English. England. Yep. And then uh, yeah, so basically, the most common way to celebrate the Fourth of July is to buy fireworks and light a ton of crap off. 
basically burn me money is basically what it is. So and I'm like inside and in, in big juicy flares. It's really fun though. I love it. That's all we do is light off fireworks. That's that's all our oh, fourth no, of like, July. We have like people over, yeah. like eat food, celebrate, talk. Yeah. Normally, to be honest with you, and this is with most holidays, especially nowadays, it's never the conversation is never around what what the day is about. It's yeah. never. It's always about something else. I wonder if that's true in other countries. I don't know. I'm sure some countries that are more like, especially right now, like with the BLM and the 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 chop and the chaz and all that stuff going on no way it's going to be conversation based around the u.s like but i don't know i bet you some countries that are more like that have a lot of more diehard people well like the u.s has diehard people but i don't know i'm sure there's some countries what do you mean by diehard like people that are all for the country Oh, like, like a a patriotic. Of, yeah, patriotic. Sorry. Well, you don't think we have a lot of patriotic? We people have a lot of patriotic people, but there's a there's a like. I should show you my I should show you my Facebook feed, bro. Average, I have so many. I have so many. The patriotic. average citizen, like like there was an interview done. Uh, I think on Prager you actually, and they went around asking. Uh, I think even college students, um, if America is great and it's been the best country, and a lot of them said they hate America, which is pretty ironic because they're in America, they're living it up. So, no. But yeah, it's really fun. So right, um, past week, ooh, we haven't done a whole lot, but we did. Um, about two weeks ago, we went to this place in Tacoma, Washington. It's called Firecracker Alley, and we got uh, our main set of fireworks. So every year, normally my parents spend about two hundred, three hundred dollars <coughs> on fireworks, just as a family as a whole, and then each kid individually can get like if they with their own money can get fireworks so this year my dad mom bought when it went together with our neighbor and bought like really big it's called the earth protector and this huge pack and then we might go back and get more tomorrow but i mean i doubt it but and then tonight we went to firecracker alley again and me and my little brothers got like why don't you explain what firecracker alley is it's um it's basically a collective um it's where a bunch of like firework sellers come together in in this huge parking lot, and like there's probably forty of them. Just random firework people, sellers, well, just vendors. Na- firework? Native American firework. Yeah, Native American Indians, firework. man. It's tribal yeah. land. Come so that's kind of a unique aspect of the United States of America. If you have not lived here, um, is we actually allowed like when we took over this the North America continent when we colonized and settled, there was native american people they were um people living here and people like to say they were indigenous but they weren't they're not indigenous actually they're not from the united states they actually came over the the great ice barrier from alaska so there's no indigenous people in yeah, the united states some people say that it was stolen from us like we stole it from them native like, americans we yeah. should give the land back even though they were stealing land from each other so yeah. I, I wonder when that started like whose land was it originally and literally People have been colonizing each other, conquering each other for thousands of years. So, anyway, but interesting enough, I think we're, we're I think we're the only country in the world. I can't think of another country that allowed a people that was conquered to just keep their like, you know. I'm not saying you know we treated them good. We definitely didn't treat them good. We treated them good on the uh, like other countries probably would have killed them, used them as slaves or killed slaves them. or killed them. Yeah. Yes. So in that regards, but Isaiah, we didn't like. If you're looking at no, civil, we, didn't, we weren't hos- We weren't good. Ho- hospitable. Yeah, hospitable. We weren't respectful. Yeah. We weren't like giving them good chunks of land to live on. Heck we gave no. them reservations. You know, pieces yeah. of crap. But that being said, I mean that's what happens when you, uh, most times. Actually, it's it's you become a slave if you get conquered. You become a slave. You get you die, yeah. or they assimilate you. You become yeah. part of their society culture. I mean that's what Rome did that forever like they just they they assimilated people so anyway long story short that being said native american indians still are around to this day and uh i don't think there's too many like quote unquote pure blood like full blood native american because there was so much interbreeding right mating uh yeah i don't know about crossbreeding if it's interbreeding but um breeding with other races um, but anyway, but if you have na- enough Native American blood here in the United States, you actually get classified as Native American, 
and you can get benefits from your your tribe or the local tribe you live near in this case in in the united states native american indians do not pay taxes Hmm. they get a fish as much as they want hunt as much as they want they don't have to follow those rules because of their ancient tribal you know their ancient cultural customs uh, so they don't pay taxes. They get. A, they don't have to obey fishing wildlife laws. Um, they still have n- land. Their casinos are all tax free. They get money back from their casinos. And so one of the things they've created for a little revenue stream is um, fireworks. And so Firecracker Alley is all Native American Indian Boom. stands. You actually can't be American. Um, a, a c- American citizen and sell fireworks. You have really? to have enough. Because no. I saw it. there's some white. No, nope. white they, I, they, they're married, either married to Native American Indians, or they even some white dudes have Native. Uh, I think you only have to have one eighth blood, one eighth. Dude, I have one eighth. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Promise you, you don't. Bro, I identify. You as aren't. One you aren't. Okay, you can identify. <laughs> you can identify as one eighth, but you don't have one eighth, bro. One eighth. No, you are ninety nine percent European, bro. You know yeah, why? Also, also you know why I know you're. You know of African American. You know why I know you're ninety nine percent European, because both European your parents Indians. are ninety nine percent European. It's true. So I mean, it's a lie. I'm ninety nine percent a Southern African. Do you like Do you like my half face tonight, guys? Because Isaiah's got to you know be, he's got to fix his hair all session. Like he looks in the in the camera and fixes his hair all session. It's awesome. What do you, you go? <laughs> Merry Christmas. You happy now? <laughs> You little pansy. There's that. How's that? Wow. Oh, what do you got to do that for? Amazing. Okay, so. I have a half face. Really um, you weren't half face. Oh, face. yeah. Uh-huh. So I get to be two thirds face. All right. <laughs> I just feel like I'm quiet. So, um, so, yeah, Native American Indians have this place here in the Tacoma area called Firecracker Alley, and it's probably 40 60 maybe 70 stands no yep. Yep. 40 40 at most you want to bet 40 at most I i'll bet, take that bet i bet 40 at most dude right i here. got money like that bro no. bro gets freak come on then, then be quiet it's not for it's more than 40 what are we betting yeah dairy queen blizzard i'm broke can't do that bro then be quiet you don't get to talk about it so there's way more than 40 guys. He's loony. He can't. I mean, he just, he barely graduated like eighth grade. So, um, <laughs> are you going, are you going into 10th grade this year, dude? Yikes, bro. He said I was eighth grade. Are you going into 10th grade? He said eighth grade. Uh, wow. This is depressing. This is the, this is what America looks like. This is the me <laughs> of America right here. This is the problem with America. Oh, shoot. Parents don't know their own dang sons. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. Wait, you think just because I, I knew you were in ninth, just finished up ninth grade, ding dong. Just because I said you failed eighth grade, barely graduated eighth grade. Dude, I was homeschooled eighth grade. <laughs> you know how hard it is to fail homeschool? Dude, <laughs> you fail, bro. You got some serious problems. That's no, the no, 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 no. See, the thing with homeschool is if you fail, you're either actually trying or you're not trying and you're just not doing anything. <laughs> so, um, going back to 4th of July. Yeah, society is about to look stupid because um, everything's about to be on Back line. in 1776, we broke free from England. And now we celebrate that break, that independence from England and the rule of a king or queen. And we have a democratic republic. A lot that? of people donate. think it's democracy. Is there a donate back there? It says subscribe back there on the wall. Yeah, subscribe. So really? Go subscribe. Follow us at. Oh wow! You can't read it though, pal. Yeah, no, you really can't. It's too gritty. No. <laughs> Just way too gritty. <laughs> yeah. By the way, budget cuts. We have to take the lights down. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you guys aren't supporting us enough. You need to throw some Benjamins our way. Come on, throw some Benjamins. So anyway, um, so no, yeah, we do we do barbecues. Come on, Wendy. Come on Wendy. You know what I'm talking about. And I don't. I, I would love comments from you guys if, do because like Isaiah said a little bit ago, when we get together for like Fourth of July party barbecue and fireworks and Christmas any holiday we don't talk about the holiday. No, we just eat, socialize, catch up there with people's lives. Nothing about we actually should talk about the holiday. Yes, we should. Just like Black Lives Matter, bl- uh, Mar- Black no, BLM, Martin Luther King Jr. BLM, BLM Black History Month. Month. Black History Month. There's a whole assembly in my school. We're BLM Month, by the way. 
Th- no, sorry, not Black Lives Matter. It's Black it's History Black Month. Black History Month, right? Yeah, in the United States, here we have a Black History Month. Yeah, sure. So Although I asked, there was an interview with a famous Black actor, Morgan Freeman. Mm-hmm. He had a good point. the The interviewer said, "Now, how do you feel about Black History Month? Do you like it?" And he goes, "Would you like just one month for your history?" And the guy was like, "No." So the, Morgan Freeman was like, do you, "Would you like a white American, white American, white History Month, European History Month?" And the guy was like, "No." And he goes, "Yeah, yeah no, I don't think we should." So Morgan Freeman's point was, "We shouldn't have a Black History Month because Black History should be talked about all year long, just like the, the rest oh, of American that's, history." That's a good point. That's a good point. That's just good like point. the rest of American history. Yeah. So, anyway, we hope you guys enjoy. Happy Fourth of July from us, Americano. Um. Let's see. Dang, Unidos. It's like, it's like, dang, it's late. Guys. Unidos. Like, Cetate. Your, your, your thing is now new. Cetate Unidos. United States of America. Oh, Kapang. So um, we hope you guys have uh, lights and fireworks Shoot, for us wherever you live. Um, so and uh, well, we have a great five minute intro. I hope he doesn't cut all of it out. So that puts us way over 20 minutes. Yeah, so sure. anyway. Okay. Hey, happy 4th of July to you guys. My name is Davi. My name is Zaza. We'll see you later. And we'll Bye. see you later. Oh, peace. Did you okay, buddy?